Watch Ethan get absolutely owned in real time. Dude, Bradley Martin just asked him, why do you have such hatred for the the guys that are basically talking about Red Pill? The, the, um, as Ethan knows them, the alpha guys, even though they never even call themselves that. Okay, I, I can tell you the reason why. The reason why is because those guys are telling men how to better their, their lives. And, and the way those men better their lives and tell other men to better their lives is by embracing objective frameworks. But those same objective frameworks reject and judge Ethan Decline for every way that he is deficient and a loser. So that's the reason why he's triggered. It's because these men are using objective frameworks to talk about reality and describe reality. And he's just, uh, you know, he's decided to live in war with reality. Very simple. Question was more in regards to like, why do you have, I guess, not so much do you specific stand for what do you specifically stand for? But why so much hate for that genre? <laughs> dude, just look at him. He's a potato chip. <laughs> that Dude, that's basically like asking him, so why do you have a problem with men telling men to better themselves to get women? Meanwhile, he's fat, like just oozing, you know, lethargic, you know, with an ugly wife and depressed. Bro, why do you think he's a loser? <laughs> of people, in a sense. Well, the genre is very hateful. Right, right. Oh, dude, it's hateful. Telling men how to better themselves. Right, true. Facts. Go to the gym, become impressive so women want you. Bro, that's fucking hateful. But again, these are the same people that resent masculinity for being toxic, right? Because masculinity is toxic and predatory. They, they, they try to bastardize competence because they're not competent. They, 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 they don't make their fans' lives better. They just slander people. It's very sad. I mean, if you look at what people like Andrew Tate and... and I, I'm not super familiar with Sneeko's body of work, so I can't really even speak to like who he is i've seen the clips of why he got banned and shit he's trying not to stay fresh and fit <laughs> watch it, it is it is they lead with hate i mean they don't lead with hate oh my god it's so funny the whole messaging is to coerce to trick okay okay i think he i think he's just like making up words now at this point he, he tried to come prepared right with a few talking points but at this point it's, it's falling by the wayside we understand that you know nothing about the the red pill space you're slandering them because you resent objective frameworks that, that they that they talk about. But here's the thing is the reason those circles even exist is because of radical, insane leftists that deny reality. The reason the reason the red pill exists is because feminism has convinced women to hate men and become more masculine. And then as a result, men adapt and then explain the system to men who are confused objectively, as 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 men will always be there to do. And so they're just upset that their um, ideology is getting disintegrated by logic and reason yet again. To um, basically dominate women. And they lead with a very, in my opinion, violently misogynistic. Um, violently misogynistic, by the way. Attitude. <laughs> Dude, become the best version of yourself, you violent misogynist. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? That is like really regressive. It's All right, guys, quick and rush. So pathetic. All right. And so I find it interesting that they're like, oh, why do you hate me? When I feel like that's the flip that they come out with. The real question is, Ethan, why does the entire internet have no respect for you? Like, seriously, you used, you used to be something. You used to interview thinking people like Jordan Peterson. And then you just like disintegrated and became degenerate and just gave into the left wing ideology. I guess, I guess you were always weak or something like that. Did, I mean, you were less fat then at least, right? So, dude, the woke mind virus is something else. I hope, I hope he asks him about Elon Musk and then he can just say, yeah, Elon Musk is a loser and he's not even rich or anything. I think I'm better than Elon Musk. And then he like reaches for his soda, bro. That would be perfect. I mean, at the end of the day, I do feel like Andrew Tate is, is a very hateful character, right? Even though you know him and he's funny and you guys have probably a good rapport, right? And I've seen yeah. him with like Aiden Ross and they have good rapport and they're funny and stuff. But at the end of the day, if you look at what he's saying and his self-help to men, it is, it is a very corrosive, <laughs> hateful... Go to the gym, you hateful bigot. <laughs> Dude. Worldview that involves like... Dude, be... Drive a fast car, you hateful bigot. Bro, th at this, this is the reason right here why he's not respected. Even Piers Morgan was like, yeah, I agree. Men shouldn't be demonized for wanting to drive fast cars and have attractive women. There's nothing wrong with that. It's so pathetic. It's basically... It is a confession of his own patheticness that he's willing to demonize guys like that. So sad.
Well, at least he's revealed himself as, uh, yet again, as the person who um, resents reality viciously. Well, <laughs> you can't make this shit up, bro. I don't, I, I don't even want to stop recording. I want to I just, like, watch him embarrass himself further. Um, Second-class citizen women. And I, and I don't believe in that. I actually think <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's a, it's a dangerous message. And it's a bad message. <laughs> you have no idea what his message is. Go on. Okay, so two things. Yeah. In regards to the, the hate, right? Remember I told you when I was on your podcast, the, the two experiences I had with you before I actually got to sit down and meet with you was hating on me mm -hmm. from you. And I never came and I said, fuck you to you. And I, I didn't, had nothing bad ever to say. But my first interactions with you was something you negative you said about me and what I was doing. Yeah. So, so do you think you don't leave with hate sometimes? No, I do. Yeah. If, if you're asking me about... Pathetic. Pathetic as fuck. Dude, uh, yet again, owned and revealed as... Dude, th this, this guy... Worthless. Worthless. There, 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 there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing to this human. There's no, there's no substance to this human whatsoever. This is, this is the reason... This is the reason why people respect Andrew Tate... And don't respect you. Now that just angers him, but there's, but that's not, that's not their fault, bro. You're just not a good person. You're, you're just not a good. Andrew Tate teaches people, teaches young men how to become better. He models how to become better. He models unapologetic masculinity. You lead with being fat and hateful and demonizing people. That's crazy, man. That, that's, that's crazy. And that's why, that's why, um, you're, you're just, you know, you're, you're on, you're on a slide straight into the depths of degeneracy. The left is going to swallow you up, and you're going to be 75 and. You all have left behind nothing but hate. Uh, meanwhile, the people that Andrew Tate's um, teaching are going to be driving Lambos and getting girls and being winners. So, the manosphere, okay. guys. Th that's my answer. But if you want to know, like, if I, you know, sometimes I come out the gate too hot, and I know that about myself, and 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 it gets me in trouble a lot, and I regret it a lot. You mean like when you said Ben Shapiro should die in the next Holocaust? What what the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, this is just a bad person. This is a bad person. Um, Brad, I hope you stay loyal to, to the top G because you, you basically have a demon sitting in front of you. And he's, he's, he's admitting. The thing is, is he's admitting to be evil at this point. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, it's part of uh, my personality that I'm, you know, something I'm aware of and something that I would like to temper, you know, yeah. because, because I think at the end of the day, I, I could get along with a lot of people. And as you, as a, as a good example, as someone that I like, I think you're cool. I appreciate and, it. And I, and I like spending time with you, and the content we've created together is nice. Yeah. And so sometimes I come out too hot, and, um, and I suffer for that, for the friends I could have had, for the friends that yeah. I will lose, as an example. And so I think sometimes I, I think that... I sacrifice maybe like um, a person ability, a social ability yeah. for, for like entertainment. Maybe I think it's more entertaining to come out like that. Gee, you think that's what happens when you say Ben Shapiro should die in the next Holocaust? What the fuck is wrong with you? You evil person. You know, I can't really make friends that well because I'm a fucking loser and I, I, I say Ben Shapiro should die in the Holocaust and that Andrew Tate's a sex trafficker with no evidence. Yeah, well, basically, you know, I'm just a, a, a fucking fat person. Yeah, well, you know, I'm hateful. Yeah, you're right. I am hateful. Okay. All right. That's it. Ha ha ha. Sad. Dude, this is the reason. This is the reason, Ethan... <laughs> this is why it's called L3. This is the reason why it's called Ethan Decline. This is the reason he gets hate, and he's going to be getting hate till the day he dies. I think I'm done recording to this. Um, I had to turn the camera... Dude, I had to turn the camera back on because Bradley just owned him so hard. Listen to this. Just just listen to this. Ten years. How, how long has he been on the internet? Ten, like I guess he's been really? on a while, but he became popular like he, recently, right? He blew, yeah, in the last like year. Yeah. Almost. Do you think like a, just a little bit of you is a little jealous? No. No? <laughs> Bro! Owned and confronted. Dude, the same problem. Logan has the same problem. All these haters have the same problem. 
he he became he became so much more popular than them so much more famous so much faster and it wasn't even his focus he, his focus was real life and he just put his real life on the internet and okay that that's really what triggers these people is because He's embodying how they're wrong, and he does it so effortlessly, so naturally, that it's more compelling than everything they've done. That's why they're, that's why they're upset, too. Oh, why? I'm so fat. No, you're pumped, but he was like, like I'm not going to lie, like, you know, like, Logan hated him for a minute. All these people hated him, and it's like, he blew up so quickly. I'm not, je I'm not jealous of Andrew Tate. Not even a little bit. No. Not of a not as a person. Just He's more, <laughs> dude, he got more famous than him, and he's totally upset. It's, it's facts, and... I, I forgot to bring that up, but I'm I'm glad um dude Bradley Martin, this is so this is going to be such a funny this is such a funny moment. This is such a funny moment. Like maybe this is the growth. When Andrew Tate gets out of jail, this is gonna be so funny. It's not the kind of growth I want. He's like he's like pure villainy, you know what I mean? But but like we said earlier, is he though truthfully pure villain? Own yet again. Yet again revealed he's an unthinking like pile of fat just on the couch. He's pure villain. Meanwhile, Bradley Martin just spent like 10 minutes explaining to him that he has an audience that, you know, resonates with what he says, so therefore he's not. But he's an unthinking just pile of fat, so it doesn't, doesn't um, surprise me that he's, you know, disconnected from reality. Okay, so I had to include that. I just had to include that. <laughs> that was too quality. 